the Roman hand abacus gives us a clue as to how to set up a counting board such that the Romans might use it. Um, you notice that the left columns, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them are base 10 with uh, a five uh, bead at the top. Uh, but the last two columns on the right are both uh, base 12. Um, the one next to the one at the right has five beads in the lower slot and one bead in the upper, so it could count six and then two times six is twelve. Uh, the one at the the right is interesting. It counts three by threes and then by twos and then by twos again. So giving you again a count of twelve. So I think the Romans adopted the Salamis tablet for their counting board, but they used it in one of two modes. They either used it as um, as base 12 using two spaces per digit for base 12 or they used one space per decimal digit so they could do either one and they might mix it on the same board. In 1951 Professor Turner uh, wrote about the difficulties in doing calculations with base 12 fractions and he referred to a problem in the Aqueducts of Rome, a book by Julius Frontinus, a Roman of the time. And he was talking about um, capacities of pipes and came up with a comparison value that needs to be calculated. So here's the problem. We want to take one and one third, square it. We also want to take one and one quarter, square it divide the first by the second and see if we come out with one and one half twelfths plus three over 288 plus two thirds of one over 288. Okay so we're working with units and um, base 12 fractions um, so we're going to be using the board in base 12 the whole thing. Um, here are the promotion values here for each line and remember in base 12 we're not going to use the center line that's why it's dashed. Um, we've got a promotion factor of 2 for this space and for this space and promotion factor of 3 for this line. So if I promote 1 on this line I will get 3 here then 6 here then 12 here. So it's base 12. Okay, so we want to put um, one and one third on the board first. One. Now, let's one third, of course, is four twelfths. Um, but let's just see if we can do that on the board here without knowing that division property. So if I have one here, then it's worth two here, and one of these is worth two here and one of these is worth three here. And so if I want one third of this, I just take, I take away two of these pebbles. If I do the same thing for this guy, I'll wind up with one. And so that was one pebble up here going to two down here, so this one's going to go to two as well. So we have four twelfths, which is certainly one third. Now, the promotion property here is 3, so I've got 3 here, so I could promote one of these. And bring this over, and there I have 1 and 1 third. It's 1 and 3, 4 twelfths. Okay, so we want to square that. So we'll copy it here and multiply it by itself. So make a copy over here. Rid of that and make a copy here. So here, here, and here. That. Now this is three. So let's let's replace it by three so that we can keep going here. Now let me register this what I've got so far.
So let's put one here. And let's double it. This is at a half, so I can double it up to here. This one, two there. And let's retire that. So here we have three, so I can promote. Here we have two, I can promote. Here we have two, I can promote. Here we have three here, promote. And these two can be promoted. Okay, now we need one more of these. Okay, this is three. So well, let's register this. Three can be promoted. So let's read that. I've got, I'm saying that one and one third squared equals one point. Um, this is six and this is three, so nine. And the next digit is uh, three and one is four. One point nine four. And that is correct. It's okay to write stuff down because the Romans had paper and pen. So now we need to um, square one and a quarter. So let's see what one and a quarter looks like on here. So here's one and we're going to find one quarter of this. So bringing this down to here I get two and then bringing this both of these down to the next level I'll get four on this space. And so one quarter is just one of those. So there's one and a quarter. It's one and three twelfths, or one and a quarter. Okay, so we want to square that. And we'll do this one first. It should be fairly simple to do. Um, get rid of that. Now this is three. So let's replace it by three. Copy one to here. Okay, let's double that. Actually, let's triple that because it's so easy. And we're done. And so, let's see. The promotion factor here is two. So this, these two, I can promote one. Promotion factor here is three, so I can promote those three. Promotion factor here is two, so I can promote. And we get one and one quarter squared equals one point six, and then six and three is nine, which is correct. Okay, so now what we want to do is divide one and one third by one and one quarter. So let's, uh, so this is what we got here was one and one quarter, so we need to put one and one quarter over here. So let's just slide it over. So this is one and a quarter. And now we need to put one and a third here. So that's one and then nine, which is six plus three, four, which is three plus one. So that was our one and one third. And this is our one and a quarter, which is one, six, uh, nine. So now we need to do a division.